Now, the suspect arrested for the attack on Kaboni Mkonza, a domestic worker, is set to appear in court today. According to Mkonza, because of the alleged corruption within government uh, amongst politicians, she found herself fighting for her life. The suspect was apprehended by the police after Mkonza managed to escape. Our reporter Sipa Kema is at the Springs Magistrates Court to tell us more. Sipa, a very good morning to you. This is a matter that really left many gobsmacked. I mean, uh, a domestic worker a, a 60-year-old plus woman speaking about how she raised this very child that attacked her, uh, meeting him as a five-year-old boy. What are the latest developments and what's expected to come out of court today? Well, of course, Mpo, this is something that uh, Kabonina Mkonza was not expecting, definitely. Having raised the 28-year-old suspect since he was five years old, that he would actually turn around and raise his hand on her now, she told us yesterday, of course, that this had been uh, reoccurring, his aggression uh, towards uh, the government and, of course, uh, black politicians was a reoccurring event, but it had, it, the first time he had hit her was uh, two days ago. She says that, of course, leading up to that day, he kept coming back to her uh, saying, look at what your people are doing, look at what your government is doing, look at what your black politicians are doing, they are corrupt and giving her incidences where, uh, the, of alleged corruption. Now, she told us that uh, she told him, you know, I, I know nothing about this corruption. It has nothing to do with me. I don't understand why you keep coming back to me with these allegations. So she says that the one night, the night that he finally put his hands on her, where she found herself having to fight for her life, he had actually said to her that today alcohol is reopened and uh, all hell will break loose, basically. Poor. And uh, that's what indeed happened when he attacked uh, the 64-year-old woman while she was sitting uh, in the sitting room with the family's grandmother. Uh, he came and attacked her unexpectedly, kicked her around, punched her in the face. I mean, it's quite visible, as we saw today when she was walking out from the court, that her face was swollen from the beatings that she received. Uh, shortly after that, she said that uh, the homeowner, the, the, the 28 year old father, pinned her down and held her hands as she was trying to fight back. Uh, he also took her cell phone and said that she will not be calling the police. No police officers will be coming to, her, to his house. She says then she was uh, put into a bedroom for safekeeping, but uh, the 28 year old suspect then managed to also get inside and allegedly continued to beat her from there. That's when she managed to actually escape and run outside and seek help from a security guard who were outside, uh, of course, in a Wendy house. That's where they then called the police officers and they offered to call an ambulance for her as she was bloody all over her face. There was blood running down her face. Uh, and then they were able then, of course, to take her in. Now, Mpo, it seems as though there was a, a bit of an issue with the police officers. They couldn't get inside the home as they had locked the gate after uh, Kabuni Namkonza was able to escape. But of course, the police then uh, of, continued to ask the owner to open as they were trying to get the suspect. And that's when, of course, they arrested him and he was apprehended and remained in police custody. Now, today he is expected to make his first appearance at the Springs Magistrates Court. But however, it seems as though this matter will only be heard after 12 o'clock. That's when new matters are heard at the Springs Magistrates Court. Now, we, we, we are told that, of course, since this is the first appearance, uh, he's also most likely to apply for bail today. Sipa, we also know that EFF leader Julius Malema had something to say about this matter, being very vocal. And, of course, right behind you, the EFF are there in support of this matter, um, of course, supporting the, the, the victim of such abuse. Well, that's true. I mean, we've seen that the EFF uh, at large, provincial level, national level, these are people... Uh, the political party that has fought against uh, racist attacks, hate crimes. I mean, we've seen it as well with the A uh, Adam uh, Casavellas' case, where they were at the forefront, of course, fighting, uh, that saying that uh, this was a criminal offense, he should be arrested. Same goes for this one, for saying that justice needs to play its part. Now, yesterday we were able to speak to uh, the Gauteng Chairperson, EFF Gauteng Chairperson, uh, and he told us that um, 
What they're trying to do as the EFF is to ensure that they change the law when it comes to uh, also, I mean, the handling of such crimes, especially the racist attacks and the hate crimes. These should be criminal offences and therefore should be given the same sentence. That is what they're calling for.